my name's Amanda and welcome to another one of my quilt block tutorials. In today's video I will be showing you how to make this very sweet mini snail trail block. Almost matches my shirt, look at that. Ooh. Now this is such a fun little block to make but I would say that the more experienced quilters will find it easier to make. If you are a beginner and still want to make this by all means do it. Just take it slow and be patient with the piecing. It can be a little bit fiddly because of its size. You can find all of the measurements for this block down in the description box below. I'm not going to put them up on screen or say them out loud because they're quite intricate and intense type measurements. My advice would just be to take your time reading the measurements as well as when you're cutting. Like I just said, the measurements are very quite precise and intricate. And just like making any other block, it's important to cut your pieces out at the exact measurements as what is specified. So when you're piecing this block together, there's just two little tips that I want to share with you just to make the whole experience just a little bit easier. And I say all of these out of experience, so hopefully they will help you. The first one is always work with the same colour first. Now that might not really make any sense to you at the moment, but as you watch this video you will kind of understand what I mean by that. Because making this block is sort of in step stages, you go from one colour to another, then back to the same colour and then you do the next colour. So in this case I'm working with pink and blues. So I was using pink and then blue and then doing the pink and then the blue and then the pink and then the blue. And by doing that it will help you get that nice C pattern that's in the block. And it will also just get you into a nice rhythm when you're piecing the block together. Hopefully you'll understand that step a little bit more as the video goes on than what I've just explained. Anyway, this next tip I think is possibly the most important. Not saying that the last one isn't important, but I think this one is important to be able to get the shape and the pattern that we want in the block. So when you have the first stages of the block in front of you, that is the little four patch center, and you're up to the stage where you're adding the first triangle, ensure that the square to the left of the four patch is the same color as the triangle. So you can see here in my little block, this is my full patch and then I've got the pink to the left and I've got the pink triangle up the top. So whenever I'm piecing I'm always making sure that the colour on the left is the colour that will be attached to the top. When I'm doing this triangle here, the colour on the left is the same colour as this triangle up the top. And if you continue sort of doing that right around the block, you'll end up getting this lovely twirl effect um, as you um, start adding more of the triangles outwards. So hopefully again you are able to sort of understand that, even though I sort of explained it in quite a weird way. But all I can really say is give the block a go. If you make a mistake, don't worry about it. Unpick it, try again. And it's only through mistakes you will learn where the right colours and the right pieces go and then through that you will learn how to piece together a beautiful crisp snail trail block. So after all of that chit chat, let's see how this block is made. First, place all of the squares to one side in their matching pairs, smallest to largest. Then take the four smallest squares and lay them out in a four patch pattern. Flip one square over onto the other, ensuring they're even and pin in place. Then do the same with the other two squares. Take the two little units to the sewing machine and sew a quarter inch seam along each of the pinned edges. And then with either a medium to hot steamy iron or a finger seam presser, press both centre seams to the darker side of fabric. Place the units back into their original four patch pattern. Flip the top row over onto the bottom one, nesting the centre seams, and then pinning in place. Take this to the sewing machine and slowly sew a quarter inch seam down the pinned edge. And then finish this step by pressing the seam you've just sewn open, which in turn will help the centre of the block lie flat once finished. Next. Take the smallest pair of squares from the side and cut them in half so that you're left with four triangles, two of each colour. Always working with the same colour first, line up your first triangle along the right side. To tell if it's centre, align the tip of the triangle with the centre seam line on the four patch unit. 
Pin the piece in place, then spin it around and do the same thing with the other triangle on the opposite edge. Sew a quarter inch seam down one side. Remove the unit piece and sew a quarter inch seam down the other side. Press both of these seams open and carefully trim off the dog ears from each side using a ruler and blade. Pin the next two triangles to the other two sides of the four patch unit in the exact same way as before. Sew a quarter inch seam along each of these sides and then press both seams open. And then with a ruler and blade, carefully trim off the dog ears on all four sides. Take the next pair of squares in line and cut them in half. And then, starting with the same colour as before, centre a triangle along the right side and pin it in place. Spin it around and do the same on the other side. After sewing a quarter inch seam along each side, press the triangle sections open and then trim off the dog ears. Pin on the next two triangles and sew along each edge with a quarter inch seam. Press open the seams and trim off the dog ears from all four sides. Continue repeating the same set of steps to attach the remaining last two sets of squares to the block. As you come to the end of finishing the block, give it a good final press with a medium to hot steamy iron. Then lastly, neaten each edge using a ruler and blade. The finished size of the block should be about 5 inches squared or 12.7 centimeters squared. we have it that is how you make the snail trail block now this is only a miniature size version of this block there are plenty of other patterns you can get that are bigger so therefore they might be a little bit easier to piece together but this particular pattern is from one of my favorite books it is called 130 mini quilt blocks by Susan Briscoe and all of the blocks in here are just awesome there is a link down in the description box if you want to check this book out it is a great book I definitely definitely recommend it so let me know if you're going to give this block a go I would love to know how you get on with it and if you do make it send me a picture all of the places that you can find me are down below as well if you'd like to see more of the things that I do here on my channel don't forget to subscribe I would love to have you come aboard and of course thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you another time very very soon bye